Thank you, my beloved students and faculty, for such a warm welcome home. We are so happy to be here. But I want you to know you're not fooling me. I know who you came here to hear. <laughs> and guess what? That's who I came to hear, too. So I'll be brief, quickly, and I'll enjoy hearing him. It's such a thrill for Elder Holland and I to be back on this beautiful campus that we love so much. We spent 15 wonderful years of our life here. That sounds like a lifetime, but some of us are slower getting through school than others. <laughs> Most tender of all for me through those years is the fact that we raised our wonderful children on this campus. The old president's home across from the Mazer building is the only real childhood home they knew for nearly a decade. I'm so grateful for all the wonderful experiences we, we had during those years and the wonderful memories we had. It was so handy for me to have 30,000 students as babysitters on my speed dial. <laughs> we know, young friends, that these college years can be very, very difficult, demanding and stressful for you. You have so many expectations placed upon you, many expectations you've put on yourself, and some of the days are spent trying to meet those the expectations can be painful, they can be lonely, and very frightening. When these days come, I ask you to remember this one truth and a promise from your Heavenly Father that I have held on to desperately, even when my own life has been in jeopardy. God whispering to each of you, to all of us as children, has said this, I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end and or a joyful end, the one he wants you to have. Then shall ye call upon me and I will hearken unto you, and ye shall seek me and find me, when you shall search with, for me with all of your heart. I will be found of you, saith the Lord. I'm old enough to bear witness of a God who thinks peace regarding us and not evil of a God that will hearken unto every single one of us in our times of need. I witness that Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son and the Savior of this world. And I will always, always stand as a witness of Him and of His Word and of His promises wherever I am. I have lived too long and I know too much and I've seen too much to ever doubt the truth of those things that our prophets and apostles have revealed. I know how much those apostles care for you because I live with one of them. No one will ever know the prayers my husband has offered or the tears he has shed for you and those like you who may struggle with one kind of a challenge or another. He loves you, and I love you. And I pray that my testimony and his message today will bring you comfort and strengthen you in good times and in bad. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.